so uh, John uh, then uh, writes back, uh, and I, I thank him because he talks to me uh, in those pictures that he was talking about, moksha and uh, oneness with Brahma and transcension of the cycles of life and death uh, and enlightenment. Uh, again, uh, some of the things that are people are coming to with the 10th Dimension pro uh, Project are really things that uh, that I don't know a lot about. But what's been so fascinating about this is there's all these different ways of imagining reality uh, that people are now saying, you know, once I've worked through your animation uh, of how to imagine the dimensions, I can see how my way of imagining reality and my way of how believing how uh, existence really is fits into that. So some of these uh, things that are, are from... Uh, the transition of cycles of life and death and enlightenment uh, are uh, definitely some of those uh, discussions that uh, I'm fascinated by. Uh, John then says, I read this one Zen phrase, before enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. After enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. <laughs> uh, and then uh, a couple days later, someone writes uh, in and says, is the 10th dimension seen in a spiritual way? And uh, Linker writes back and says, Yes, but this project also argues that science and spirituality will ultimately be shown to be talking about the same things. Uh, a little later that day, somebody calling themselves Kobura writes and says, I saw the movie on the site. It was, uh, and they, they use an emoticon I haven't seen before. It's just two ampersands, the A in the circle. So it's, it's a, I guess it's the image of somebody with their eyes wide open. I've never seen that one before. I like it. Uh, Kobura says, my brain broke. Incredible stuff, extremely well explained. I'm very inclined to get the book, if only it could be narrated so well to me, uh, which is uh, something that comes up from time to time. The, the time it would take to create the 10th Dimension book as a podcast, uh, just for audio only, uh, would probably, you know, take about a week to do. Uh, I haven't seen uh, enough interest yet for me to think that it's it's worth the time it would take to do. But by all means, if that's something that you would like to see happening, and uh, you, you could post that into the chat room here, or if you'd like to write to me at rob at tenthdimension dot com and uh, and uh, say whether that's something you would you think would be useful for uh, driving the car or, uh, or listening to on your iPod, uh, I'd like to know about that. Uh, Someone else, uh, very late that, may, that day and into the next day, uh, uh, wrote, why are there not infinity dimensions? And uh, Guidewire, wh whose music we've been playing to, writes back uh, and says, I think there are infinity dimensions. And uh, also posts a link to Murray Gelman's uh, Beauty and Truth in Physics. Uh, Guidewire says, nature is continuous. Uh, which is uh, definitely one of the discussions that has happened from time to time here. I'd argue that uh, the illusion of nature being continuous is absolutely seems very real, but uh, things like um, us knowing about, uh, uh, for instance, uh, electrons and how uh, they can jump from one uh, layer to another within an atom instantaneously, there's not, uh, there's not uh, from different excitation, excitation states, it's not that the atom is here and then moves through to here, it's just that it is here and then it's there. And those kinds of things, uh, in, a t in addition to uh, quantum indeterminacy, the idea that you cannot look at the universe any more closely than the Planck length, because then you get kind of in between the frames, tells us that uh, the illusion of reality, I believe, is uh, as being continuous, is really purely an illusion. And uh, any connections that we see as telling us that there are infinite dimensions or a continuous reality that uh, doesn't even, even need dimensions, I would say has more to do with our perception than the things that we really know about reality. Uh, somebody named Ravlor writes and says, uh, will you be here so I can talk with you? Uh, that's definitely one of the things that, uh, that does happen on a regular basis, but I can't really guarantee you when it will happen. Uh, but uh, when I'm in the room, uh, I do try to chat to people. And uh, whenever if I, I have a moment in my day, I'll look in. And if there is a conversation happening, uh, I'll try to join in with it. So um, unfortunately, Ravlor uh, 
was here from Sweden. And uh, for me, that was in the middle of the night. Uh, but uh, I, I would like to acknowledge that uh, it's been fascinating to see how many people in uh, places like uh, Sweden and Belgium and the Netherlands uh, have really embraced this project. And it, it does seem like there's a real pocket of interest out there about these discussions of uh, how to imagine reality. And uh, I'd like to say to, uh, hi to all those people out there in, in Europe that are are watching this show uh, in for what me is probably the their afternoon coffee break or something and uh, for me it's the middle of the night uh, uh, maybe sometime I will get up at the three o'clock in the morning and uh, try and have some chats with uh, some of the people who come into the room at that time. Uh, Ravler says uh, the things about parallel worlds and stuff like that uh, I have my own theories about things but uh, he says uh, uh, I believe that when we use the dimension of the brain uh, Sorry, I've lost my place here. I believe that we must use the dimension of the brain, the mind, and our thoughts to visit other worlds. And uh, that's definitely uh, one of the things that gets talked about on a regular basis in one of the uh, forum subcategories uh, on the, the site too. If, and again, if you go to 10thdimension.com slash forum, uh, there's an area there where people are talking about uh, uh, meditation and, uh, and some of the other mind-altering uh, things that people use to reach... Uh, their comprehension of other realities and if you'd like to go there and talk in that area about that uh, by all means please do uh, somebody calling them uh, I guess it's fishnets or you know f I'm not sure f it's f it's f a f s h n t z z if you're in the states not sure if anyone there is is there but this is cool and interesting stuff I'm finding at this site so um, that uh, takes up us up to uh, the conversations that have been happening most recently here at the Tense Dimension Forward Forum and I will, uh, or sorry, in the chat room and I will uh, be promising to check in regularly. Uh, these videos are then becoming part of what gets streamed back into that uh, chat room uh, uh, video coming from Ustream so uh, uh, even if you're watching the, the show now you might hear something that you said a few days ago or a week ago uh, or months ago depending on when the stuff is is going back to to be uh, talked about uh, that your questions might uh, have been answered even though it felt like nobody was in the room at the time uh, so that's all that we're going to do for today uh, thank you everyone for your participation in this project it's really been so thrilling to see how people around the world are embracing these ideas how people are moving from saying well that was interesting to people who are saying you know, that really is uh, very enfolded into my ways of believing reality and people from uh, physics circles who say that, people from spiritual and metaphysical uh, circles who say that. All of you, uh, I thank you for your participation. Thank you uh, and goodbye for now from Imagining the Tenth Dimension. This is Rob Bryanton.